Hi everyone, this is Nick with Gator Guards and we are the makers of Keel Shield. We get a lot of questions from the aluminum boat community and the tracker boat community about protecting their investment, protecting their boat. We get a lot of questions about the Keel Shield and how do you install it, can I install it, because there's a little bit of a misperception out there that you can't install a keel shield on an aluminum boat. That is untrue. About two thirds of the brands out there um, welded aluminum hulls our keel shield works great on. So the keel shield works on about two thirds of aluminum hulls out there, mostly the welded aluminum hulls. Now if you have a riveted hull such as a Lund or maybe some of your older vintage boats, a keel shield simply won't work around most of those 90 degree bends and those rivets. So today we're going to be covering some of the key tips to installing a keel shield on your aluminum boat or your tracker. Cover those key tips to protect your investment. Yes, yes. So items included in the product are the squeegee, the adhesion promoter, and the scotch bright pad. Additional items you will need outside of this kit will be a marker, a tube of RGB silicone, some rubbing alcohol to clean the hull surface, tape, paper towels, and a way to measure and mark your space out for your product. Okay, so Nick is prepping the hole right now by trying to heat it up because it is fairly cold outside and that may affect the adhesion of the product. So just something to keep in mind as a potential additional step you might have to take. But we do this to both the hole and to the keel shield once we unwrap it. So for the keel shield, people have a misconception that you can install it over this welded beam right here that uh, you find on many of your welded aluminum boats. But the keel shield actually is flexible enough due to that rib design to be able to mold over that welded keel section really easily. Especially if you add some heat, you lay this in the sun, or you use a hair dryer or a heat gun to be able to warm this up. It's extremely flexible and is able to mold over that keel really easily. So that's one of the key things on an aluminum boat that we're going to be talking about here is installing it over the top of that welded keel seam. Whether it's a tracker with a simple double edged welded keel or an express that's actually just a single straight weld or even like your Vexus or your Ranger aluminum boats where it is a simple flat bar welded on each side. The keel shield can easily accommodate that and we're going to talk about some of the key tips to install on these style of holes. So after the hull is all nice and prepped, we start to space out where we think we're going to put it. This will be different for every boat, but how we do this is we just space it out with painter's tape. We level it up without taking the back of the tape off of the product so that it just lays on the keel. And when we do that, we just mark it with a Sharpie. Then after you're done marking where it is with a Sharpie, you go ahead and you line the painter's tape all the way down those Sharpie markings to get a complete straight yep. kit. We're golden. They should be even on both sides of the kill. Now, this is where you get your scotch bright pad to take care of that surface. The purpose of the tape here is just a template to make sure that where you scuff stays straight. That way when you put on your product, it will look straight and you won't see any scuffed up areas outside of the adhesion. We've scuffed up the hole be able to start prepping it to install our keel shield. Pulled off the painter's tape. So now you can see there's a clear line there where the area has been properly prepped. You can see just that light shade. All you're doing with this scuffing pad is opening up the pores of that paint. It allows the 3M adhesive to get the best bond possible versus this nice, clean, smooth. This is just lightly scuffed with that red scotch bright pad. After you prep the surface with a scotch bright pad, Make sure to clean it and make sure that all of the residual paint you've scuffed up is completely off the surface of the boat. So once you've gotten the hole scuffed up and marked out here, you can see where you need to apply your adhesive activator wipe. The adhesive activator wipe is a must 
for aluminum holes. It helps get that adhesive, a nice initial bond to the keel. So we're gonna tear this bad boy open and we are going to um, cover the area that we've prepped with this adhesive activator wipe. Once you have applied the adhesion promoter, allow a few minutes to dry and the surface becomes tacky. The product has three layers of tape in the back. Pull the middle layer down and that will be the first one that you apply to the kill. Make sure that your kill shield is lined up with the area that you prepped with a Scotch-Brite pad. It should go all the way down evenly with special attention to the middle. Once it is lined up, this is where the squeegee part comes in. We use the squeegee and we run it across the ribs within the keel shield itself to stick the 3M adhesive directly to the hole. We do this by creasing the middle first, and then once the middle is nice and creased, we very tactfully curve it around the keel itself. And once it's around there and we've got a nice firm press and you know that it's applied correctly, you go down each of those ribs and you work one side at a time, one line at a time, from in to out. As you go down, as long as you do this step from in to out, you should have no distortions or bubbles or irregularities in the product adhesion. This is the most important step. If this is done correctly, you more or less have a lifelong product for the time of your boat. Once you've got all sections ran down and it's all pressed against the hole, go ahead and give it a lateral squeegee on both sides. Go ahead and do this fairly copiously to make sure there's a nice even squeeze on the 3M product. Because there is, this kill is not a straight triangle and there's this little divot, we're going to have to fill the top with sealant. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all there is to it. It's a little bit more time consuming than it is hard, but anybody can do this. And this is what you'll save your boat from. If you wanna stop the keel from looking like this, then I absolutely recommend you apply it with this. GatorGuard uses fantastic technology to bond the adhesive to the keel shield itself. So as long as it's prepped correctly, you have a product for life. That will stop your boat from getting damaged on the primary area that it's most prone to getting damaged at. It is a worthwhile mod on any aluminum or glass boat. You can find more information about this product directly on the Gator Guards website. It is also sold in most major department stores for fishing and boating. We also have it here on our website, tbnation.net. No matter where you get it from, I hope that you enjoyed this product, that this video helps you install it correctly so that you can enjoy this product for the life of your boat. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Have a fun time out in the water.